Today, we are going to have a ball on Michael's toys. We're gonna make a pie tape today, also known as a diameter tape. Now, as we know, every circle has a diameter, some length that goes all the way across between two points on opposite sides. And the diameter times pi will give us the distance around the circle, the circumference. Or to put it another way, the circumference of a circle divided by pi will give us the diameter. If you know one, you know the other. So if you wrap a measuring tape around a circular object and you look at its circumference, you can be safe knowing that, here's zero, for every pi units, 3.14, boy, that's like a tenth of an inch, I really, really wish that I had a decimal imperial measuring tape, but I don't. So just bear with my inaccuracies here. Let's say that pi is like here. Okay, there's pi inches. Um, now two pi is 6.28, that's about six and a third eyeballing, there's two pi. Three pi is 9.42, so we'll just go a little shy of nine and a half, there's three pi. If I wrap a measuring tape around a circular object and its circumference is pi units, well that means its diameter is one of those units. If two pi units go around, its diameter is two. If three pi units go all the way around, its diameter is three, and so on. And what this means is that you need to take the circumference of the circle and then divide it by pi, which is an irrational number. Uh, it's got a lot of digits in it, um, and you need to use a lot of them to be precise. But wait, what if we didn't want to do any mathematical figuring? What if we just had a measuring tape like this? And rather than having units listed this way, it instead counted off pi units of length. So we started at zero, and then one was here, and two was here and three was here, and so on. Well, then we could wrap the tape around the object, read the number, and although the tape was around the circumference, what we saw would be the diameter. Such a thing is called a pie tape, or diameter tape, and what do you know? This measuring tape happens to be one. If I flip it over to the other side, you will see that it has, whoa. Okay, first of all, look how close I was. The integers you see on the tape on the other side are pie inches, and my guesses almost line up perfectly. This is totally, I'm not even joking. That's, well, it's really just luck. But anyway, the other side of this tape is measured off in chunks of pi inches. So when you put the other side of the tape around an object, like say this cylinder, I will see that its diameter is about 6.1 inches. Let's use the other side of the tape to see what its diameter is when measured as an actual diameter. Oh, look at that, we're just over six inches. But why buy a diameter tape when you could make one? Let's do that today. First things first, we need to make ourselves a template. So what I'm gonna do is take this sheet of paper and I'm going to measure out pi centimeters. The, the pi tape that I own is in imperial units, but no one wants to use those. Now, for metric, here's a nice shot of my bald spot. You know, let's, uh, let's cut to a better angle. Perfect, okay, so here is uh, our beginning, our zero point, and pi centimeters will be 3.1 millimeter, just a little shy of half a millimeter over that mark, so I'll put it here. Obviously, if you want more precision, you can just, well, buy a mechanically made pi tape, but what's the fun in that? There we go. So now we're gonna use this template to mark off every pi centimeters on our tape. You can use anything you want for a tape. Last year, I made a pi tape using actual masking tape. I pulled out a long piece and then stuck another long piece underneath it and precisely closed them and stuck them together so that no sticky parts were left exposed. It was not easy. Today, I'm gonna to use something a little easier. I'm going to be using drywall tape, which isn't sticky all by itself. But I think it's a little bit too wide. I wanna cut this in half. Come with me. Okay, now that you have the physical tape that you're going to be putting your pi centimeter marks on, let's put them on. Luckily, we already have a template that shows us how far pi centimeters is. We just wanna line up our tape 
with that line and mark off equal sections. But I'm not gonna start at the very end of the tape. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of room and you'll see why later. Let me grab a pen. Oh, here we go. This is where we start and this is pi centimeters further away. Now from that mark, pi centimeters away is here. And I will continue making these marks until I run out of tape, which will be very monotonous for me, but extremely exciting and time-lapsed for you. All this work will be totally worth it, cause when I'm done, I'll be able to find a diameter by wrapping this round a circumference. All right, so I have made a mark every pi centimeters along this tape. The next step is to label them. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a zero there, and then a one here, and then a two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. The point being that when I put this pi tape around an object, the number that I see, in this case, six, will tell me not the circumference, but the circumference divided by pi, so the diameter. That is a circle with a diameter of six centimeters. I will put these numbers on now while you watch another montage. Now it's time to put numbers on the tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's geometric fun. Remember to always believe in yourself. How lucky is that that this tape will allow me to measure things of a diameter up to 60 centimeters. That's great, this is the longest pie tape I've ever made. So, let's have some fun and test out how it works. I have here a metal ring that is 15 centimeters in diameter, I measured earlier. What I'm gonna do is put this ring right on the zero of the tape. Let's roll our ring without slipping and boom. 15, 15 centimeter diameter. Thanks, Pi Tape. Actually, I take that thanks back because we just rolled the shape, but what if we can't roll it? If I wrap the tape around, look what happens. I know that this ring is 15 centimeters in diameter. It's precision made. It's a physics teaching tool for rotational inertia, but my Pi Tape is telling me that it's more than 15 centimeters in diameter. It's somewhere around maybe I don't know, 15 and a fifth or a sixth or something. What's going on? What went wrong? Well, the problem is that by putting this tape around the ring, we're no longer measuring the diameter of the ring. We are now measuring the diameter of the ring plus the width of the very tape we're using to measure it. And that might seem like it wouldn't put us off by as much as we are, but we have added the thickness of our tape twice, once to the top and once to the bottom, and the circumference, the distance around, is that thickness times pi. So we're actually noticing a circumference larger by a factor of twice the thickness of our tape times pi, so more than three. What that means is that when we wrap the tape around something, we need a different zero point that subtracts out the extra circumference added by putting a pi tape around it. Uh, because this ring is very well made, I'm gonna go ahead and use the ring as our template. So the zero for wrapping is right there. Let's make this clear to ourselves. This is the zero for wrapping. And this one is for rolling. Now the moment of truth, let's put our pie tape to work on the cylinder we used earlier. Now, in centimeters, using a meter stick, its diameter is 15.4. Now let's take our pie tape, wrap it around, and see what we get. Look at that beaut. I've wrapped the tape around. Our wrapping zero is right there, and sure enough, it's a little short of halfway between the 15 and the 16. 15.4 centimeter diameter. Great work, pie tape. So now, you are equipped to be, well, a bit of a superhero. The next time someone says, "Ugh, I just really wish I knew what the diameter of this thing was, you can say, hey, hey chill out. I gotcha. And you know, that's really what friendship is about. That's really what life is about. And that's really what love 
is all about. And as always, thanks for watching. Just let me be the one. Let me be the one. Let me be the one to wipe the tears from you.